I bought over 100 untested Xbox 360 consoles, and in this video, we're going to test and explore about 10 of them to see what we find and see if we can turn a profit. Now, here's the thing, guys. I often find interesting save data left behind on these old consoles, but holy crap, I found hundreds of weird Minecraft worlds left behind on the consoles in today's episode of The Hampton Ho Mega Hall. Now guys, here we have a 360 Slim that's a, a little strange. First of all, we have a masking tape here in the front with a J, so console is just was meant just for me. And also we have a couple of bugs just chilling down there in the vents. Uh, hopefully you can see that, that's, that's nice. But the cool part is we have 250 gigs here, so yeah, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Ahoy matey, let's see if shall ye boot up. Three, two, one. Okay, I think I hear a disc in the disk drive. Let's go ahead and pop it open. What is it? Halo 4 disc one. Okay, I've already seen, I, I, <laughs> I think I've seen this like three or four different times in, in 360s, but the disc looks pretty good, not not scratched up hardly at all. Looks like a pretty standard, <laughs> pretty standard console that the profile is, yeah, buddy, 910. Uh, he's got 14,000 gamer score, not bad, not bad. Okay, I see you. Got Justin here, he's got his little uh, little beanie hat on, he's got a police car in the background. Nice, he's also got a, <laughs> his bio is your boy. <laughs> Nice. I'll check out the achievements here. Last played Halo 4, obviously, which makes sense. First game played Carnival Games in 2012. Okay, okay, I see you. Let's go ahead and see if there's any other profiles on this console. Oh, dang, yo, we got 10 profiles. Oh, we got Assassin Panda. We got Big Daddy. Oh, love to see it. We got Bodacious Mold, Minecraft Man 1, <laughs> Player 1, Prince Princess with an S, Soccer 12 XD, Solon Manatee 07, YOLO Swag. Wow, okay. <laughs> And yeah, buddy, which we already saw. Let me check out Sullen Manatee. <laughs> what is, what is this man? Uh, okay, at 40 gamer score, Lisa. All right, Lisa, whatever. Now next up we got Minecraft Man, which has a Minecraft profile picture. Also, yeah, he's got some gloves. He's got the the swag chain on. He's got the hat. Uh, Christian's got no buyer message, but let's check out the last time he played Halo Reach in 2015. And Minecraft, of course. I mean, like, why would he not? Why would Minecraft Man have not played Minecraft? Now, let's go ahead and pop this disc back in and see if it'll load up. Yup. It works. Okay, okay, let's go back. See if there's any games downloaded on this hard drive because we got 250 gigs. I really hope there's something downloaded. And okay, we got, ooh, 45 games. Let's go. All right, we got Avatar Laser Wars 2, a demo, Carnival Games, Castle Crashers, Crisis 3, Force Unleashed 2, Gears of War 3. Oh, yo, do we have the full game of Just Cause 2? Hold up, hold up. Let me come back to that in a second. But we got some other demos here, as you can see. Demos, demos, demos. Metro 23, 33, full game, Minecraft full game, Plants vs. Zombies, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, Tron Evolution, yo, we got some stuff here. All right, let's go back to uh, Just Cause 2 and see if that boots up. Please, 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 let's go, come on, come on, hold up. Okay, so there's no save data here, but that makes no sense. Let me try a different profile. There we go, yeah, buddy's got some some save data. Let's, let's load it up and see how much he's played. This is my favorite game back in like 2010. Well, let me go ahead and check out the database here, go to stats and see how much he's played. So he has about six hours of game time which is not that crazy. Honestly, this game, you can you can sink so many hours in this game because there's so much to do. Like, look look at this look at this map, man. Like, I remember back when, I, yeah, 2010, I was like, holy crap, what a massive map. I think it actually was one of the largest maps when it came out. Maybe the largest, I don't know. Let's go back to the main menu here again and check out our uh, other stuff. And by other stuff, I mean our videos. Come on, something. Yes, we got Trials Evolution and Angry Birds Trilogy trailer. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. The Angry Birds trailer is blocked by family settings. Oh, no. Ah, uh, we all know what we got to do now. Let's, let's go back and see if we can guess our family settings passcode. This is my specialty here. There's no passcode I can't hack into. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it. A few minutes later. All right, guys, I've tried like 100 passcodes and I can't get it, which is tragic. Uh, that sucks. Let's go to retry passcode or uh, sorry, reset passcode. Favorite food. Oh, it's my time to shine, boys. My time to shine. Come on. Let's go. Whoa. All right, let's create this new passcode, 0000. zero, zero, zero. Oh, boy. Oh, while we're at it, let's uh, let's turn it off. That was a rush. Oh, actually, I just remember, we gotta go back and check out Minecraft here and load that up. All right, so let's boot up Minecraft with Minecraft Man here and see what kind of a uh, world he has saved. No way. <laughs> Dude, Minecraft Man only has tutorial, tutorial? Nah, it can't be. Let me let me try a different profile. All right, so here we're on Yeah Buddy's profile now. We can check out his uh, worlds. Got the walls, Sibo, CG, Zach, Battle Dome, JGS. Let's try out uh, the walls. I guess why not? What the heck is this, bro? What is this? What he means by walls? He just made a million little walls. I don't, I don't know. He's got some uh, got some animals trapped here. All right, well, not really sure what to say about this one. Uh, very random, I guess I'd say. <laughs> All right, let's go back to main menu. Oh, and actually, I just found out under the storage data, you can see which uh, exact worlds they have saved here on different profiles. So you can see Battle Dome, Big City, 
You can also see this one called Like a Boss from Big Daddy. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing much else. But guys, this console works. If you want to check it out, I'll list it down below for sale. Or you can scan the QR code on the screen. But let's go ahead and move on. So guys, here I have an Xbox 360 that, uh, phew, it, it's, it's rough, man. I can't even describe what this stuff is on it. It's like, I don't know, cat litter or something. But... There is some good news here. If we flip to the side, we have a 250 gig hard drive, which looks like it might have some cockroaches in it or something. I don't, I don't know, but let's plug it in and hopefully it works. All right, three, two, one. There's an ant crawling across it. Nice, awesome. That's like the third or fourth console I've had that has an ant crawling around it. That's that's not a good sign, man. These are all sitting in my filming room. That's that's not ideal. And we got, oh, Static Glint 2835's got some, he's got 6,000 gamer score. He's got a pretty sweet get up. What is? It must be from a game. I don't know what game that's from, though. It looks like a Call of Duty or Battlefield, Battlefield kind of thing. His name is Cam, and let's go ahead and check out his, his achievements. Let's look at last play of Saints Row the Third. Not sure what date, um, but last game with the date is Space Chimps in 2018. I did not know they had that on the 360. I don't even, I've never even heard of that game, honestly. And then first thing played is Dead Rising back in 2014, Lego Rock Band, that sort of thing. Wait, wait there's a Lego Rock Band? It's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and see if there's any other profiles here. And yep, we got six profiles. We've got Grumbly Newt 81, Mini Empress 212, Player 1, Player 2, Player 3, and Static Glint. Okay, let's, let's try out Mini Empress here. Okay, 1400 gamer score, and she's got like a crazy looking hat. That's that's kind of cool. Love to see the special stuff there. Her name is Amber. Let's go ahead and check out her achievements. Last played Sans for the third back in 2019. You know, pretty recent for a 360, I'd say. Now, is there a game inside? Nope, well, let's go ahead and toss the game in a set and see if it reads up. How, dude, how does how does a console this disgusting just work fine? Like, I, I don't get it. How does a console get this disgusting? It's just like, I, I, I can't even describe what it looks like. I mean, it almost looks like it was sitting in a, a, a spa, got some water damage, and somebody took it to the desert and just left it in a, in, a, in a hole. I don't know, but the game's working fine. It's reading fine. Let's head back to the dashboard here and see if there's any games downloaded. Yep, we got World of Keflings, Banjo-Kazooie demo. Okay, cool. Actually, yo, 78? <laughs> Hold up, hold up. We got Batman Arkham Asylum demo, Arkham City demo. Demo, 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 demo. Dude, dude, this is, oof. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. Dude, 78 games and I, I guess 65 of these probably are demos. Look at all look at all these demos. Demo, demo, demo. Oh, not a demo. Demo, demo, demo. Sound. Skate 3 demo? Yo, you gotta love it. You gotta love somebody that's using their hard drive in the correct fashion. Wait, oh, we have some, we have some music. We got My Gift, Rick Ross. Hold on, let me go to the actual songs. There's no names for anything. It's just a bunch of tracks. Let me play some stuff and see what's actually on here. All right, guys, so scrolling through here, one of these albums was is Yo Gotti. Another album was Rick Ross, obviously. The other one that said My Gift, I, I played like three songs. And Shazam could not guess any of them. Like, it, it could not figure out any of them, which is kind of crazy. Never seen that before on Shazam. But uh, just, just a random mix of music that looks like it was, I don't know, probably illegally downloaded or whatever. Who, who cares? Let's go ahead to storage now and see what's on here. Uh, oh, yo, we got a Crash Bandicoot theme. Hold up, hold up. Yo, nice. It's pretty slick. Okay, I like it. And then, dude, 40 gigs in demos. That's awesome. And we have 92 gigs in games and apps. We just... How? And also after this thing radiating for a while, it definitely smells like vape or something along those lines. Uh, not a great smell. But let's go ahead and check this game. And guys, this console works. So if you want to check it out, I'll list it down below. It's got a bajillion demos, so pretty cool. Well, guys, let's go ahead and move on. And guys, here we have a 360 Slim, and this thing looks like it could be really good because if we flip to the side, it's got a 320 gig hard drive, which you really do not see all that often. So hopefully it's loaded up to the brim, but we'll, we'll find out. Let's plug it in and see what's on it. All right, guys, three, two, one. We got life, we got life. Game inside. Come on, come on. Oh, yo, what? We got Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection Platinum Hits. Nice, nice. I like to see that. And the game is super clean as well. Okay. Yo, we got some profiles here. We got Austin. We got Bombs for the Zoms. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's got Caleb, uh, Crooked Neck K, Cute Puppy 3, Greifer King 37, Him and Napkin, Hungry Boss 1, Kitty Gal 2006, Player 1, Stony Broom 18, Tinka, Toxic Man 2. Oh my gosh, there's so many profiles. Holy crap, we got a lot to go through here. Let's start with Bombs for the Zoms here and just check his profile out. It's like a pretty standard avatar with the... <laughs> Uh, the message is take no prisoners and his bio is not there from virginia beach virginia makes sense minecraft uh played back ops 2 back in 2016 and first game of the date is halo 3 odst back in 2011 okay okay agree for king we got uh 26 000 gamer score no slouch here hello and bye <laughs> uh, his name's ethan no bio Location is high. So we got Hungry Boss 1 next, and his profile photo, a little zoom in on that, says, get turned on. I hate Mondays with an I, okay. <laughs> Bio, I'm, I'm a fat, uh, fat, okay. <laughs> 
Minecraft, uh, Minecraft Story Mode back in 2018. First game of the day is Sonic Freeriders back in 2013. And last Xbox Live profile here is Stony Broom 18 with 7,000 gamer score. Friends with all, no bio. Let's check out his achievements. Last played Minecraft in 2016, so all these guys are playing Minecraft. First played Fallout New Vegas in 2013. Okay, okay, I see you. Let's go over to the games though, and hopefully there's a bunch of downloaded. 18, that's not bad. Battle Block Theater, Castle Crashers, Black Ops 2 downloaded. That's that's a that's a W. Minecraft Story Mode, Minecraft 360 Edition. Nice, nice. Okay, but checking out the storage, we can see. Oh my goodness, how many worlds there are! And holy crap, dude, <laughs> these guys have so many Minecraft worlds. Fart. <laughs> Hero Brian, High School Drama, Hogwarts Houses. <laughs> new World, New World, New World, New World, New World. Uh, never dig straight down. Theme Park spelled incorrectly. Yee juice. <laughs> Okay. We got to check out like a couple of these and just see what's going on in these worlds. And yeah, Kitty Gal 2006 is the one that had a bunch of Minecraft saves and sure enough her background is Minecraft as well. So we got some themes actually. Let me check out the themes first. Then we'll go to Minecraft and oh dude, there's a bunch of Minecraft themes. Diamond, gold, iron, stone. <laughs> that's it. All right, let's go ahead and boot up Minecraft. All right, we'll try A and Mom because that's the one at the top. I don't know if that means it's most recently played or what, but let's go ahead and boot that up. Okay, it looks like we spawn in a library of some sort. Let me go ahead and break through the glass here. Oh, chicken. All right, like, wait, let's go back to the main menu, guys, and we're going to pop this game inside and see if it loads up. And, yep, boots right up. So, guys, because there were so many Minecraft worlds on this Xbox 360, I decided to go through a bunch of them and just kind of see what's in them, see what's on them, see if I can find some interesting stuff. And, yeah, I, I found some interesting stuff, so let me just go ahead and take you through some of the ones I found. Okay, so first we have this world that I think was called Fart, so, something like that. And we have this little castle thing that looks like it's in ruins. There's, like, floating blocks everywhere. I don't know why. I just thought it looks kind of cool. And then I found this, like, like beanstalk-looking thing that straight up goes forever. I was trying to fly up for, like, five minutes, and I couldn't find the end of it, so... Yep. <laughs> Now, in the next world here, we have uh, Hero Brian's house, which looks uh, extremely creepy from the outside. It gets worse on the inside, though, so let's go inside. And, um, yeah, it's like a little a, a shrine. Or, I don't know what's going on here. And also, it, it locks me in. Uh, I, I can't get out. Break down the door, though. Not out. Now, next up, we got this world called Real City. And you can see at first glance, it looks like a city. You got the, the road. You got a bridge and stuff. But it gets kind of creepy as you go over here let me let me show you so we have this like little outskirt town over here and it gives me the vibes of like a resident evil village uh it's pretty creepy let me show you so you just come over here and kind of float around kind of creep in you just see these little dudes like walking around i, I don't know this, this 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 view right here is just creepy to me again resident evil vibes i don't know kind of kind of sus let's let's wow that's that's creepy let's exit now guys next up we got this world that's actually one of the craziest ones it's a it's a jail as you can see there's cells everywhere let me just uh, take you into cell number three here got a little a little cot it looks very comfy the whole place gives creepy vibes but that's not even the worst part let me let me show you what i just found so if you come out back behind the jail, there is a lava pit. So I guess that's where they put the prisoners after they serve their sentence. I don't know, man, but <laughs> let me show you the next world. Now, next up here, we got the Hunger Games with a few different landscapes, like the sand, you got the forest, you've got the, the snow. We're also just uh, trapped in this freaking box. Let me, let me out of the box. Let me out of the box. And last but not least here, guys, we have a world that's apparently uh, uh, the forest is on fire, as you can see for miles and miles. And also there's this, this little tower here. And I just broke into it, and there's got, <laughs> got two dogs chilling up here. Bruh, who just trapped their dogs up here? That's that's so lame. But anyways, guys, I've only gone through like 15 Minecraft worlds here, and there's like 150 more to go through, so who knows what other crazy stuff I might find if I keep looking. Um, and by the way, this is not the only console in the episode of Minecraft worlds. There's still more to go, so more crazy stuff, but let's uh, let's keep going. Hey, if you guys want to support the Hampton Mega Hall series, make sure to check out the Hampton Mega Hall t-shirts and hats using the link down below or the QR code on the screen. Now guys, here I have a PS7 Slim. We're gonna plug it in and see if it works. Hopefully there's like a five bajillion chat messages where I can see people yelling at each other in COD from back in 2008. Well, let's, let's plug it in and see what happens. Three, two, one, power. Please, please turn on. Please boot up. Free game. <sighs> Nothing inside. Okay, okay. It's all black screen. Then it went away. Come on, please. Let's go. It's booted up. HDMI detected. Yes, boy. Come on, give me something good. Give me some downloaded games maybe. Some, oh, we got, oh yes, we got Sam. Oh, oh. Just disappeared. All right, we got Sam Miranda, Nick Whitehead, Jason. Let's start with the Jason here. Let's check out these profiles, explore. Nice, he's got the rainbow background. Dude, that's classic. That's just a classic here. Oh, uh, we also got the chat room text only. I don't, what? Dude, this guy's email address is specifically for the PlayStation Network because it says PlayStation Network in the email address. I'm not, obviously not gonna spill the whole thing, but like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But let's start with the message box here and just see what's in it. So he received a few friend requests and a Veterans Day. What is, hold on, what is this? Celebrate Veterans Day, we are bringing back Three of our retired PS impacts, and it's got an attachment for Battlefields of Dust Fort 514. And then you click on it, and it takes you to the, the actual listing on the PlayStation Store. That's, I did not know that was a functionality. That's, that's pretty cool. 
He's got one friend request sent back in 2015, and that's it. But let's go ahead and check out uh, what games. Oh, we got ooh, we got Minecraft on here. Okay, okay. Minecraft, Dust 514, and then MLB 13, the show. Just the, oh, just the manual. <laughs> Great. Let's see when the last time he played, though, was. Looks like Marvel Super Hero Squad back in 2018. Again, fairly recent for a PS3. He was playing 2K19 in 2018. That's that's something. Also got some video services here like WWE Network and then uh, PS View, which is an absolute throwback. And then, oh, yo, we got videos. Hold up, hold up. What is this? Baltimore and New York Mets highlight reel. Yo, he's got, he's got MLB highlight reels downloaded on here. Oh, it's like from his game. Nice. <laughs> Clean Break 2012 Season 1 Episode 1. What? Drunk History Season 2 Episode 7. Good Vibes Season 1 Episode whatever. More Highlight Reels. MLB Games of the Year. NHL Games of the Year. Street League Skateboarding ep Season 1 Episode 2. What? Ultimate Fighter Team Rousey vs. Team Tate. Viva La Bam Season 3. What, what is that? What? <laughs> so much random stuff. Alright, you do you. Let's go ahead and check out the system settings here and, and see how many gigs we have. All right, 4 to 8, 2, we got 160 gigs. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go back to Jason here and check out his Minecraft stuff. Let me see if I can actually boot up Minecraft, actually. Let's try a world full of, full of sports here. Where are the sports? Oh, yo, he made a baseball field. Oh, that's pretty slick. He's got the bases over there, and he's got the, the outfield wall made of, like, uh, grass, I guess. He's even got the dugout over here. He's got the, the grandstands behind him. I wonder, oh, uh, it kind of looks like he started making the rest of the stadium and then, I guess, stopped. Looks like it's mostly done, but not quite. Let's also check out Jason's world. I would assume that's probably his main world, maybe. What's up there? Hold up. So I'm headed up to the top of this lair, and it looks like it's got a glass. It looks like a TV screen back there, but I don't think it actually is TV. What is that? Get out of my way. Go away, glass. Uh, what is this? Power. What? Dude, go away. I don't actually know how to play Minecraft, so I'm just kind of wandering around in here and just doing clueless stuff. All right, guys. Well, the, let me know if you got any tips for me on playing Minecraft or anything else I should check out in these Minecraft worlds, because I, I find plenty of Minecraft worlds in these, these videos and old consoles and stuff, but let's go back to the main menu now, and I guess we should probably toss a game inside of here and See if it reads up. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. There you go. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. I saw the manual and I was like, oh wait, where's the where's the real game? And then and then sure enough, I saw the game, so it did load up. Now I'm not gonna actually boot it up because The Last of Us takes forever to like install and stuff. But guys, this console's working, good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now guys, here I have a Fat 360 that's from the era that could be considered the golden era of 360s. Let, let me explain why. So you can see it is a Jasper console from 2009, and during this time everybody had 360s. Everybody's playing online, saving cool stuff on their consoles and the consoles are not red ringing, so these things are still alive, unlike a lot of the really old 360s, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we find. Wow, that's that's a flying bug that's dead right there. All right, well, let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, three, two, one. All right, we're booted up, and we got K Kale. K Kale. <laughs> what? Hold on, let's see how many profiles there are. Oh, yo, we got, wait, did I just read that right? We got 12 profiles in this console. We got Badger Bear, Billy, Con Conrose757, Ian, Kale, uh, K Master, MCI 321, Player 1, Player 2, Somerville 13, whatever that is, Mr. Mills, and yeah, let's start with Mr. Mills. He's got like a chicken running on his profile photo. What in the heck is that? He's got 1500 gamer score. Yam mode on. Nice. His name's Jacob. Yo, let's go. Bio beast mode off. West Virginia University 2016. Yo, so this guy, oh, I bet this console's from West Virginia universities. It's probably from some uh, roommates and stuff. So, you can see P-Town, West Virginia. Yep, yep. All right, let's go ahead and explore the average achievements here. I was playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 back in 2013, and first game played was Cabela's Safari. Uh, well, our first online game is NCAA Football 08 back in 2008. That matches up. Let me go ahead and check out the next profile. Okay, Cod Rose has got uh, 8,000 gamer score. His message is Razor. Okay. Bio is FUBAR. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a acronym for go look it up uh, that, that's probably what it's meant for in that message there but all right let's check out the achievements here we got uh ufc undisputed three back in 2013 and first thing played online was moh airborne back in 2008 so that matches up with the last the uh, last profile as well now kale's got 5580 gamer score he's got a gold chain and everything nice no no message though no bio that's kind of lame uh, let's check out what he played so black ops back in 2013 first online game was gears of war back in 07 okay so this guy's an og so i'm i got this feeling that they basically we had a really old 360 originally it got red ring and then they swapped their hard drive to a new console because if you look at the side of this hard drive uh it's it's definitely a 20 gig hard drive which is basically only on as far as i'm aware i don't think jasper consoles ever had 20 gig hard drives so probably from one of the consoles from like 06 07 that sort of era but checking out this next profile which is mci 321 dude that looks like a, like frozone from the incredibles but it's also not it's a what he's got some like george washington hair and a skeleton face mina Ibra ibrahim bio is life is for living i keep it alive and this person's from Phillipsburg, New 
jersey. So is this a different user that's not related to the West Virginia players? I, I don't know, but also played USC on Disputed 3 back in 2013. And first played Sega Superstars Tennis back in 08. Now, last but not least, got Somerville here with 4,000 gamer score. It's Deshaun, no buy or message. Also West Virginia, as you can see by the location there. But let's go ahead and check out the games here. We've got FIFA 13 demo, Halo Waypoint, Hex HD, and Street Fighter 2. Honestly, not nearly as much downloaded here as I would have assumed uh, with this many profiles. But let's go ahead and check out the videos here. And we got UFC All Access and this, this Equipo, which I've, I've seen that before. It's like a, a show or something. I don't know what that is. And uh, yeah, nothing else special, special going on here. So let's go ahead and pop a disc inside, see if the disc tray even opens. Nope. Great. Oh, finally, got it open. This is, It's been a long time since I've had a three... Gotta be kidding me. It's been quite a while since I've had a 360 disk drive that just straight up would not open without uh, intervention from a paperclip. Let's go ahead and pop a game inside and see if it actually reads. <laughs> and of course, it, it reads up perfectly fine. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this console's good to go, guys. I'll listen down below for sale if you wanna check it out on my website, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. But let's move on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's we time. All right, let's turn this bad boy on, see if it works. And... This is actually kind of crazy how this lot of consoles has had barely any free games in the Wii's. Because I usually have like a 75% success rate on untested Wii's with having free games inside. But let's go ahead and see if this thing boots. Yes, it boots. And we got some, wait, hold on. What is that? Defend Your Castle. Okay, okay. Got some games on here. We got Defend Your Castle. We got Pokemon Rumble. And then we got the standard streaming channels. No secret channels over here. Let's go ahead and just start with the, the Mii channel. Let's see if there's anything on it. I'm going to guess... This feels like a 18 me's to me. 18. Uh, nope. Six. All right. Lame. Wait, yo, what? what, what? Was that dude crawling? <laughs> yo, Nick was freaking crawling. <laughs> what was that? That was so weird. All right, Becky, David, Granddad. Dude, go back and show an instant replay of Nick crawling. That was that was wild. But anyways, Granddaddy, Granny, Kayla, and and Nick over here. All right, let's go ahead and pop a disc inside this bad boy and see if it loads up. Yep. Not reading. Us. Uh, that's, that's garbage. All right. Great. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname next. Probably be something like, I love grandpappy. Next up, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go back though and check out the last time this Wii console was played. Now the vibes here are giving me like 2012. That's my guess. Let's find out if I'm correct. Oh, yo, hold on. 2018, yo, we got some saved. Holy crap, there's a ton of saved data here. How long did they play? Uh, not that, I mean, three and a half hours, not nothing too crazy, but they got a ton of, um, they got a ton of like, oh, bowling pro status reached by Nick. Yo, I wish I could check it out, but I can't, it doesn't really load games, so I can't check it out. Well, let's go ahead and actually check out this Defend Your Castle game and load that up. All right, so game A here, they got to round 17. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, crap. What, what do I, what do I do? Oh, I'm, I'm toast. I'm toast. Dude, that was quick. All right, I see why you stopped there. All right, let's go, let's go back, though. And, uh, yeah, this console half works. If you guys want to check it out, I'll also down below for sale. Um, or scan the QR code on the screen. You guys, let's move on. Guys, it's it's Wii time here, but we've got a we've got a cracked faceplate here, which I don't think I've ever seen on Wii before, so that's not a great sign. No SD card inside, but let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. Hopefully it works. All right, three, two, one. Got power. No free game again. It's tragic. And wait, what? So here in the main menu, we got, uh, I guess, the photo channel over here, and there is a... The background is <laughs> it's a photo of a kid with sunglasses on that are they're photoshopped on and he's holding he or she is holding something but i can't tell what so i'm guessing at some point there was an sd card inside of this thing that had a bunch of photos loaded up and i guess they assigned one of the photos as the background i don't think i can see any of the other ones here oh it's saved to the Wii message board i can't read the shirt but i okay i think this is a girl holding some sort of animal like a like a hamster or guinea pig or something the shirt says i'm something grandma maybe <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, it's so random. But guys, let's go back to the main menu here and boot up the Wii channel, or me channel, and see if there's anything on it. Oh, okay, I see you. We got some Mii's. We got 25 Mii's. Let's check them out. Baby Joe. We got Big D. Yep. Uh, Brandon, Queenie, Rach, Ray Ray, and Summer. Very standard Mii's. Nothing crazy. But guys, let's go ahead and pop a game inside of here and see if it reads up. I don't really have much hope considering how console looked on the front, but wow, that pulled it in very nicely. It sounds fine. Let's go. We got a Wii game working in. Let's go ahead and boot up Wii Sports and see what kind of games they played. All right, let's check out bowling here and see if uh, anybody played. So I'm going to assume Isaiah was the last person to play here. All right, and apparently Isaiah has never played. Great. Oh, and he's left-handed too. Nice. Awesome. That helps me a lot. Come on, spin, 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 spin. Let's go. With a lefty strike. That's what I'm talking about, boy. But all right, guys, let's go back to the main menu and check out the console nickname. Bugster44. Would have never guessed that in my entire lifetime if I had 14 bajillion guesses. That, pff, what? <laughs> let's go back and check out the last time this console was played. Oh, here we are. August 2011, we've got some data here. Played Michael Jackson for 28 minutes and the Guitar Hero World Tour for 22 minutes. That's that's random. Also, I don't really understand. 
understand some of these messages sometimes. So it says Baby Joe played a pickup game in basketball on Wii Sports Resort, but it shows no Wii Sports Resort data, like playtime here. Is it just on the wrong date? But all right, guys, this console does work. I'll list it down below for sale on my website if you want to check it out or scan the QR code on the screen. But let's move on. So here we got one of the somewhat rare Xbox 360e consoles. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what's on it. All right, free game, please. Something that's not 2K16. Come on, I hear something that's that. My ears picked me out. Nothing inside, but let's go ahead and see if it boots up all the way, though. All right, guys, boot it up, and... Oh, no. Okay, so first of all, there's no storage devices. Okay, so there wasn't a hard drive inside, and it guess it... Okay, so I... here's probably what happened. It was supposed to have either, like, a 250 gig or 500 gig hard drive inside. It doesn't. Somebody removed it, and there's no 4 gigs built in. But what we do see here is initial setup grayed out, so that means family settings are turned on. So let's go ahead, take a stab at this, and see if I can guess this code for the, the, the 25th time. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> First try. <laughs> it was 1111. What's the point of even making a code if it's that? Uh, let's see what the uh, the password was. Dude, no, no. Favorite food again is Pete. Dude, I, I think seriously like 12 of the like 15 consoles that have had passwords on them, the, the favorite food has been pizza. Like, does nobody else have a different favorite food? Or is this is this what Microsoft forced you to input? Like, I, I don't get it. I get that pizza is like a universally loved food, but like, how is that every single person's favorite food? I, I don't believe it. But guys, uh, let's go ahead and pop this drive open, put a game inside and see if it reads up. And yep, game boots right up, console's working fine. I'll also down below if you guys wanna check it out on my website, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. But guys, let's move on. Now guys, here we have an Xbox 260 that could be one of the rarest ones you've ever seen. Let me show you why. So flip it to the back, you can see from the power port we have a Jasper console, which is a very reliable version of the Xbox 360. You can see the manufacturer date is 11-5-2008, which is actually before the NXE dashboard came out, so this originally launched on the blades. And just for context, there's a very small window of time from when the Jasper revision of the Xbox 360 came out to when the NXE replaced the blades dashboard, so it's like, it's a very rare variant if you can get that. Now, I don't know if this has been updated or not, but let's plug it in and hope you get blades. All right, three, two, one. Ah, oh, no, that's tragic. All right, not blades, but... Let's go ahead and explore anyway. All right, so by default, it looks like this console has nothing on it. It should have some built-in storage though, right? Okay, no. All right, let me just go ahead and throw on a random hard drive. We have a 120 gig hard drive from Goodwill. We'll throw this on and see what's on it. All right, we got terminal, ve <laughs> it didn't even spell velocity right. It's terminal velocity and no messenger bio. We got some av we got some achievements though. We got Far Cry 3 back in 2018. Okay, that's, I mean, fairly recent. Wait, what is this? Quantum conundrum. Let me know down below if you've ever heard of that, but I have not. First played Hex HD and back in 2017. That's that's quite the find. But guys, let's see if there's any games on this thing. Probably not. Uh, Oblivion. Eh, okay, these are just downloaded games. Can't actually play them without a disc. Whatever. Let's go ahead and throw a game inside of this thing, see if it works. And the disc drive is perfectly fine. Console actually looks pretty good. And yep, game boots up and it's working fine. Now, this console could have been great if it had blades, but man, it does not. It's still a good console though. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now guys, here we have a fat Xbox One and it looks like a pretty normal Xbox One at first glance, right? Well, it's it's not. Let me flip it to the bottom and show you. We are missing three rubber feet here, which is very strange on an Xbox One. I just don't see them missing all that often, which doesn't bode well for what this console is gonna do when I turn it on. So let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, got power. Free game, free game, <sighs> nothing inside. Let's see if it boots. It's booting, yo. Who's playing today? We got Heeper Jeeper, uh, Lilithist, uh, Lilithist, Amethyst, Quarter My A, what? Why well, am I having such a hard time reading this? Quarter, uh, whatever, uh, Sniper Elite, Thanasy 7A, and Lakey Boot. Holy crap, these are all absurd names. All right, let's just boot one up. <laughs> yo, last game played was Midnight Club Los Angeles Edition. Oh, oh, holy crap, Ho holy crap, please work, please work. Dude, you gotta be. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go Minecraft pre. What the heck is Minecraft preview? Oh man, that's that cluster truck. Come... Mm, no, that's. I thought it was something else. It's got Crocs World, Xbox Edition, Elder Scrolls, and Ace Combo. What is this combo of games? Wait, these are all last used today. What... Dude, this console's been sitting on my shelf for like a month. What? <sighs> Farming Simulator 19, Ark Survival Evolved. Dude, it's such a random mix of games. Oh, I'm so confused right now. All right, well, let's uh, see if anything works here. Something, please. Anything load? <sighs> I thought I was. In, I thought I was. I thought I was signed in, dude. What is going on? So apparently, with a specific profile, you can't sign in unless you're connected to the internet. This one's got a pin. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, another pin. Great. How about this one too? A pin? Nope. Oh, finally, I tie, signed into Gina's profile. Let's see if Gina did anything. 35 gamer score. Cool. Great. All right, now it says GTA 5 on. I, I, wait, where are all these games coming from? They did not show up anywhere under my games and apps. What? I'm so confused what's going on with this console. Even got Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the OG Xbox here. But guys, let's go ahead and pop a disc inside the disc tray and see if that'll at least work. No way. 
Dude, Xbox One reading a game on first try? Oh, that's unheard of. Let's go. I'll take it all day, boys. I'll, I, I will take that. And also checking the console info, you can see it says 2023 here. So it almost seems like they last updated this console in 2023, which means this console hasn't been abandoned for all that long. Kind of, I don't know, kind of strange, honestly. But guys, while we're here on this Xbox, let me show you the next thing I'm gonna do. And that's, uh, I'm gonna hop over to the profiles here. And basically every single profile on an Xbox One is linked to an email address. So I'm gonna take every single email address email these people with a photo of their Xbox and say, hey, I have your Xbox One and just see if they care, see if they tell me where it came from. I don't know. And if I hear back from them, you'll see a little segment here. If not, guys, let's go ahead and move on. All this is console down below for sale. But yeah, let's move on. So I emailed the profiles on this Xbox One and I actually did hear back from somebody named Gabe. He said, I believe I sold that at a yard sale. Could you please forget to reset it? Thank you for letting me know. So it's just kind of funny how these consoles, like the roots of these consoles are weird. Like I, I got it from Goodwill. He sold it to a yard sale. So some, there's, there's somebody or maybe multiple people in between there that got it from the yard sale to Goodwill. Just a, a funny scenario to think about. Guys, we have a Wii console here. Well, excuse me, Wii box because there might not be a console in it. It's pretty light. Let's open it up and find out. And yep, we just got two controllers. We have a smashed Wii Sports manual, <laughs> a nunchuck, some random rechargeable batteries, and then, wow, a, a manual that is permanently in this S position. Great. Now oh, that's kind of cool. It's advertising Nintendo power there, but yeah, let's let's move on so guys thanks for watching this episode of the hampton mega haul if you want to buy any consoles you saw in this video make sure to scan the qr code on the screen click the link down below and remember we have episodes going live every wednesday friday and sunday throughout november and december so make sure to tune in and i'll see you guys next time i look bald